Thousands of retired black NFL players are demanding an end to the organization's use of race norming in deciding payouts from a billion-dollar health care settlement. The process statistically adjusts test scores by rating players based on racial or ethnic groups. On Friday, former Washington running back Ken Jenkins delivered 50,000 petitions demanding equal treatment for black players to a senior U.S. district judge in Philadelphia. This is for players eligible for part of the NFL's settlement over brain injuries suffered on the field. The league insisted on using the algorithm, which assumes black men start with lower cognitive skills on dementia testing than white players. That makes it harder for them to show enough mental decline to qualify for part of the settlement. CBS sports writer Ryan Wilson joins us now to talk more about this. Ryan, just from the outset, I have to ask, what the heck? How is this even acceptable? And I guess we all need to start by understanding what is race norming and how the NFL decided that this was appropriate. Well, you did a pretty good job of explaining it, and I'll just reiterate basically what you said there. It's a scoring algorithm that's used for dementia testing, and it assumes that black players start with lower cognitive skills. Then they have to score much lower, as you noted, than the white players to show enough mental decline to qualify for the payouts they were talking about here that the NFL has said was part of this settlement uh, for this head injury settlement that goes back some eight years now. So how do we get to this point? Uh, That's the question. That's why we have the lawsuits, uh, two that were issued back in in August by two former players. And their concerns are the ones that we're talking about here. They felt like if they had just been graded uh, without race being an issue, they would have qualified for these payouts. They suffered head injuries, concussions, and they're feeling the ill effects of those long after their uh, careers are over. Uh, But because of the race norming that we're talking about here, they haven't been able to collect uh, on those payouts. And they have obviously uh, tried to to get at this legally. Uh, The NFL has obviously pushed back because that's what big corporations typically do. And that's how we find ourselves where we are now. It's a strange situation for sure, uh, given the climate we're in, in terms of this uh, sort of post George Floyd world where the NFL has made a concerted effort uh, to be more inclusive when it comes to racial injustice. But this is certainly a a, a glaring mark on on what's different than what we've been seeing in recent months in terms of trying to make everyone uh, this racial justice thing be be all for one, in, in a sense. Yeah, I want to follow up with you on that point, Ryan, because this is a damning report. And it comes after the NFL made a big publicly concerted effort to promote equality uh, and to support Black Lives Matter. What's the NFL saying uh, about the criticisms about using this algorithm? And, and Ryan, I, I wonder even if you can tell us who designed the algorithm. So, right. So this goes back to, to the 90s. And Dr. Robert Heaton designed the algorithm as a means for, for measuring for health-related concerns, uh, someone's socioeconomic situation, how that might affect uh, their health situation down the road. And it was a small sample size. And it was pretty, uh, pardon the pun, it was pretty black or white. Either you were or you weren't in this group. But as things have changed, we're more than 20 years on now from when he actually introduced that metric. And, and social scientists now realize there are better ways to do this. And in some instances, especially when you're talking about NFL players, some of them are, are mixed race. They're biracial. So that doesn't mean they're black or white. Uh, many of them have gone to college for three, four, five years and graduated. A lot of times we're talking about the socioeconomic issues uh, when it comes to, to poor neighborhoods, whether you're black, white, or, or some other category. Uh, the education isn't a part of the conversation because that's part of the concern. So it, it doesn't seem to fit what the NFL is trying to measure when it comes to these payouts uh, for the head injuries and dementia related issues. And that's where uh, the plaintiffs in this in the, in the case, when it goes to court, that's what they're contending, that this doesn't seem to fit what we're trying to measure here. And perhaps there are other ways of doing this. In fact, uh, the judge, uh, Anita Brody, uh, who dismissed the lawsuit only because it was based on the class action, uh, she did, in fact, say she wants to see more on this. And why are we doing the things that we're, we're the way that we're doing them when they do seem, as we're talking here, out of the ordinary, to, to, to put it lightly. So what has the NFL been saying? Not a whole lot, not surprisingly. In the recent story we're talking about from the AP on Friday, they had no comment uh, to the Associated Press. They had previously said they were OK with the way that the science was being administered because they had been told by the scientists that they're working with that this isn't atypical. Other scientists, and certainly the plaintiffs in, in the case in, in the lawsuit, would disagree. Uh, the league has also said they're willing to get to the bottom of this, and they want the best for everyone. And of course, as we've talked about, uh, 
uh, during the, 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 the racial injustice conversations that the NFL has been at the forefront of in recent months. They also understand the importance of tiptoeing around this issue in a manner that makes them, that keeps them in, in the best possible light. And they're a billion-dollar corporation, and they have different interests when it comes to money. But at the end of the day, we've certainly heard NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell stress the importance of racial justice, and they appear to be trying to do the right thing. Some of these players would obviously disagree with that based on their experiences with trying to get the payouts uh, as they've tried to test uh, when it comes to dementia and their other related head injuries. That is interesting. You know, it also goes to the point about trying to dismantle some of, uh, of what is, ex is accepted as science um, because of an earlier time uh, and, and some of this racism that is, is frankly, embedded into our systems. Um, uh, Ryan, tell us, you, know, you start to talk about the players. Uh, what sorts of rumblings is this creating uh, among, NFL, among the NFL Players Association? Do you expect that we're going to see more retired players joining the petition? Well, that's going to be something to keep an eye on. The NFLPA hasn't said a lot publicly as of yet, but that can certainly change. They didn't have any comment on the Associated Press report from Friday. Uh, in terms of what the retired players may decide to do, so when this initial settlement came out back in 2013 with the overall head injury-related uh, issues that, that was going to be a class action lawsuit, 99 percent of retired players opted in, opted to be a part of that class. Uh, One percent opted out, which meant they wouldn't be able to collect on any of the settlements, but they could sue individually. Now, this is a different situation. We're talking about the race norming uh, aspect of this one thing, and there certainly could be a situation where players uh, decide to join lawsuits if they feel they've been treated unfairly. Uh, two of the players that I mentioned from the August lawsuit, Kevin Hardy and Najee Davenport, Najee Davenport said specifically uh, that he felt like he would have passed had it not been for the race norming uh, aspect of the test, in which case he has yet to receive any of the payouts that he felt he was due. The, the New York Times did a study uh, or looked over some cases earlier this year of eight players, black players, who would have qualified for payouts had the race norming uh, metric had, had that not been used. So these are the issues at hand. And once more players find out about this, and by the way, this didn't come to light until 2018 because a lot of this is confidential. Uh, so it's only been a few years. But once more of mm -hmm. the players find out about this, once more of them become eligible and are denied that eligibility, I suspect we'll see more people get involved with trying to, to get the payoffs they feel they're, they're duly deserved. Well, I guess it's, it's some comfort that Goodell says he wants to do the right thing. Let's hope that the NFL does. Ryan Wilson, thank you.